Welcome to Thoroughbred Racing Action here at Gulfstream Park. We've got nine races on this Saturday card. We'll sit it up Sears of Pete Isle with the scratches and the changes. It's a beautiful day, sunny skies, temperatures in the low 80s. The main track fast, the Tapita track fast, the turf course firm. In race one, scratch number seven. What's up, Buttercup? Race one, scratch the seven. Racing at Goldstream. Uh, first timer, did I dazzle you? Blew the break, four lengths last. Good start out wide for Fluffy. In the middle, here's Brown Eyed Beauty moving on to take over. Away in third is West Bank. Racing in fourth is Exotic Dancer with Slender Slipper. And after a terrible start, did I dazzle you? Last of the six as they chase the speed of Brown Eyed Beauty. Brown Eyed Beauty to the far turn on top by a length. Fluffy is second. West Bank is third. At the rail, Slender Slipper now fourth. Up three wide goes Exotic Dancer, and the trailer remains. Did I dazzle you? They pass the opening quarter in 23 seconds flat. They have less than three furlongs to run. It's Brown Eyed Beauty and apprentice Ray Martinez on top by a neck. Fluffy is second. West Bank getting ready to launch her bid. She's in the clear now for Bravo. Third, a length and a half behind. Quickly backing away, Ex Exotic Dancer trying to wind it up from the back. Did I dazzle you? As they reach the top of the stretch, they went the half in 47 and 3, and they're on their way home. Brown Eyed Beauty comes off the turn, three on top. West Bank to the attack, second at the rail. Slender Slipper running home pretty well. On from the back, it's Did I Dazzle You. They come past the eighth pole. Brown Eyed Beauty has the lead. West Bank trying to get her at the rail. Slender Slipper. Did I Dazzle You charging hard late. 16th to go. Here comes Slender Slipper at the rail. Slender Slipper and Anthony Thomas get up. Slender Slipper springs the upset at 114 flat. Close for the Miners. the rail. My happy holiday was quick and destroyed, but not as fast as Factor That, and Chris Landeros and Factor That up and around horses to take a clear lead. Sudoku Terry is tightened up, holding down the rail. My happy holiday up over heels is my happy holiday, in fact, and that does not do Sudoku Terry any favors. It did, however, benefit Silent Melody, who is nearest the inside, working ahead of British Empress, then back to Take Your Point and breezing along. As last of all, they chase the speed of Factor That. Factor that to the opening quarter in 23 and 4. Leads now by 2.5 over Sudoku Terry in second. Star performance third. After some early trouble, my happy holiday is fourth at the rail for Edgar Perez, racing in front of Silent Melody. Then back to breezing along. The two at the back take your point and British Empress. They make their way to the final half mile of the contest, and Factor That is in front through a 47 and 3 half mile. Sudoku Terry is second at the rail. That's my happy holiday into third, breezing along, making a backstretch brush for Jaramillo four and five deep. But on the move now, in between horses, Silent Melody, then Star Performance, and still at the back or Take Your Point in British Empress, and still up front is Factor That. To the top of the stretch with Factor That nursing a length advantage. On the outside, it's breezing along. In the middle, it's Sudoku Terry. Off cover comes Silent Melody, my happy holiday at the rail. Off the turn and the stretch drive, plenty of hopes here. Factor That still going. Sudoku Terry tries to shift gears between horses. British Empress is closing good ground from the back as they come past the 16th pole. Sudoku Terry and breezing along at the rail. British Empress over the top. Silent Melody. Silent Melody runs them all down. It's Silent Melody to win it going away in 135 and 2.
three quarters in one twelve and one known agenda is now on to take over the lead. It's known agenda for St. Elias Stable. Florida Derby winner, known agenda. They're off. Slow break from Don't Answer. Quick break from Baltic Mule, who's fired up toward the inside and is going to challenge for the advantage with one fast dream. That'll situate Macklin perfectly, third behind the speed. Away in fourth is awesome for sure. Down inside goes Don't Answer with Antillian at the back of the field, and it's a speed duel on the top end. Baltic Mule has the lead for Jaramillo, challenged by one fast dream in second. Angle to the clear is Macklin. He's just biding his time, third behind the speed. Gap of three more to Don't Answer, then awesome for sure, and Antillian is last. The opening quarter posted in 23-2 and two as they round the far turn. One fast dream has the lead. Macklin quick to attack now. Second, dropping back to third. Baltic Mule underway is the class dropper. Awesome for sure. He's drawing closer at the three furlong point. White Blinkers up into third and underway. They pass the 5 16th with Macklin taking over. He'll have to deal with Awesome for sure on the outside. At the rail, it's one fast dream. The rest really not kicking in very well as they come past the quarter mile mark. The opening half mile posted in 47-3 and, and they're on their way home. It's Macklin sent on with the task by Miguel Vasquez. Kicking clear now. On the inside, it's one fast dream who tries to hold second from Awesome for sure. But Macklin likes this main track stuff. He's clear by as much as he wants. It's Macklin and jockey Miguel Vasquez for Steve Claceris. Handy third race winners. Second is Awesome for sure. Third is one fast dream. And Tillian's up fourth. 119 flat. Brave breaks right on the money, and now Chris Landeros' job is simple. He's got to try to slow him down on the top end from a second running last run. Up in the middle, that's Phobia, then Zozan, and at the back is the late running Curlin's Kitten. And the run around the clubhouse turn, it's Cheyenne Brave with inside position and the lead, but Phobia won't let him get too easy a time of it. He's racing into second. Long shot last run is third at the rail, followed by Zozan, and at the back and comfortable too is Curlin's Kitten. The opening quarter, quite reasonable, 24-3. and three. So if Cheyenne Brave leads only narrowly as Phobia, not happy with the tempo, and he's turning up the heat while under a very tight wrap. It's now Phobia who works out in the center and strides clear to lead by two over Cheyenne Brave, who's going to let him go. On from third, it's Zozan, then last run, and angle to the clear is Curlin's Kitten. They go to the half-mile point, and jockey Lionel Reyes and the son of noble mission, Phobia, commit for home early. They win a wicked second quarter and lead by six, Cheyenne Brave is second, but tactically speaking, his back's against the wall now. From the outside, it's Zozan. Curlin's Kitten is on from fourth and last run tails off. So Phobia has two nipping at his heels, three wide Zozan, two paths. Cheyenne Brave up to the outside. Here's Perez on Curlin's Kitten. So the two favorites, they'll now drop the gloves a quarter of a mile from home. It's Zozan who comes away with the lead. On the outside, Curlin's Kitten to attack mode second, but Husbands shakes up Zozan, but Curlin's Kitten has another run on the outside. This looks like a winning run too. Curlin's Kitten striding forward. He takes the advantage. Zozan is back to second behind Curlin's Kitten. There's in front. Zozan second, last run third, Phobia fourth, Cheyenne Brave, couldn't get the trip. One to blast and 135 and four. Good start for Heartbeats Like Thunder with Hari on the outside. These two race on. Away in the top flight, I Am The Game joins the top flight. On the inside, that's Bold Advance with Candy Street between horses. And out wide goes Shake Your Bones. Back from there, it's Makuto and Noble Wave. And the early trailer is Bandero. 
The run around the first turn, heartbeats like thunder, and Miguel Vasquez settling into a nice, easy time event on the top end from Bold Advance, who moves a closer second. On the outside, it's Hari in between horses Candy Street. Hara's got a strong hold of him. He's keyed up between. Then back to the outside, I am the game, saving ground at the rail, Noble Wave, ahead of the outside or Shake Your Bones. Then Makuto, the trailer is Bandero. 24-2 and two for the opening quarter. Down the back stretch they go. Heartbeats like thunder, on top by length. Hari is second. Out in the middle, that's I Am The Game, reference between, between horses, Candy Street. Then at the rail, it's Bold Advance. On the far outside goes Shake Your Bones. Down at the inside goes Bandero. Then Makuto, and shuffled the last is Noble Wave. He went 49-3 and three for the opening half-mile speed. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Heartbeats, like thunder, has the lead by half a length. I Am The Game making his bid on the outside. Far outside, Shake Your Bones. Candy Street got shuffled back, but he's on a rebid while still under a hold. In between horses, it's Hari. Bandero needs to pick up his ball game with a quarter of a mile left to go. They pass three quarters in 113-4. and four. The leader is Heartbeats, like thunder, right alongside I Am The Game. Candy Street giving his head and swung to the center. Bold advances next as they come past the eighth pole. Heartbeats like thunder. He's got a kick here. He's responding to challenges, and he's three in front again. Candy Street has rallied to a joint second at the rail. Bold advance, but heartbeats like thunder. He's not for catching. Heartbeats like thunder to win by two and a half. Candy Street second. Bold advance third in 144 and two. Coast to Coast Pick 5. $1 minimum. Player friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5. Every weekend. Platinum Rocker gets the first call, racing right to her as Calming Sea and moving out the rail, seeking by the storm. It's the long shot, seeking by the storm, leading by a length and now over Calming Sea, who's way out in the center from second. Away third is Platinum Rocker, reconnecting is out the rail in fourth. Then What's Good and Confer and Sister Nell's at the back. Into the first turn they go. It's seeking by the storm and Jockey Edgar Perez on top by two, Calming Sea is second. Reconnecting third at the inside, followed fourth by Platinum Rocker, then What's Good. Outside of her goes Confer. Out the back early is Sister Nell. Opening quarter pretty quick here, 23-1, and one, as they have less than six furlongs to run. It's Seeking by the Storm. In front by a length and a half, Calming Sea is second. Reconnecting remains third from Platinum Rocker in fourth. Here's a mid-race move. It comes from a headstrong Sister Nell. She's tugging up on the outside here for a big backstretch brush through a 48 and two half mile. That'll shuffle what's good to last. And then Seeking by the Storm is still in front. Calming Sea is second. And now on the outside, Sister Nell is into third. At the rail, reconnecting fourth and Platinum Rocker and Confer. And what's good? She has rail position here for the run around the far turn, but she's last of all, and she's about four lengths off the lead. They went 48-2 and two for the opening half mile, and they speed past the 5 sixteenths. They haven't reached the long shot yet. Seeking by the storm has the lead. Sister Nell from between horses, and on the outside, it's Calming Sea trying to get loose for the drive. Reconnecting's had the trip. What's good followed her through. Over the top, Confer. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go, and they still haven't got to Seeking by the storm. Here comes Confer. Here comes Reconnecting. Confer on the outside has taken the advantage. It's Confer and Lionel Reyes in front. Confer at 6-1 to one to win by a length and a half. Reconnecting second, seeking by the storm third. What's good fourth in 141 and two. And 
they're off. Good start in between horses for one of the favorites, Neophyte, who heads off for the early advantage. It's Neophyte, the target, and the run to the half-mile point. Tis a tail, meanwhile, is up into second. Up on the outside, Ubiquitous is now third. Away fourth is the North Remembers, then it's Jupiter Blues and Resist the Devil. Trying to run home from the back is Tis a Prince, and as they run past the final three furlong mark, it's Neophyte who has the lead. Neophyte leads by almost a length. Here's Tis a Tail turning up the heat second. Three back to the North Remembers. He's now gaining ground into third. Moving sharply the North Remembers. Back to fourth, Ubiquitous. Then it's a gap of three to Jupiter Blues as they run to the top of the stretch. On the outside, it's Tis a Tail for a narrow lead. From his far outside, the North Remembers off cover, Ubiquitous. He's in with a good chance here as they straighten for the drive. Up front, it's Tis a Tail, but he's got a host of pursuers. Here comes Ubiquitous. Neophyte fights at the rail. Over the top, the North Remembers. 16th to go. It's Ubiquitous who has the kick. On the outside, the North remembers second. Ubiquitous in front. Third is Neo Fight. Fourth is Tis a Tail. Ubiquitous wins over the North remembers in 57 flat. Just a step slow was Guild the Lily. Good start in the middle for Di Regresso, who heads off for the early advantage with Hockey moving to her. Down at the inside, Madame Mischief looking for a pocket to race from. Outside, it's Roscoe Village. In the three path goes Lady Madonna. Norman Hito is in between horses. Guild the Lily is next. Then Watchtower, the early trailer, is top blue. And the run to the first turn, they have Hockey to catch. Hockey's on top in front by length. De Regresso is second from a three-wide Roscoe Village in third. At the rail, Madame Mischief is now fourth from Norman Hito, who's racing up on the outside fifth. A length back to Lady Madonna, she's now sixth. Watchtower between horses is seventh. Top Blue is eighth at this stage, and Gild the Lily is ninth and last, behind an opening quarter of 23 seconds flat. Down the back stretch they go. It's Hockey and Patrick Husbands in front by a neck. De Regresso is second from a three-wide Roscoe Village in third. Needing racing room toward the inside is a patient Madame Mischief. She's fourth through a 47-second half mile. Norman Hito is next, and out three wide, it's Lady Madonna. She'll have an option to launch four wide if she wants. Then Watchtower, who's going to follow her. Down at the inside, it's top blue, and still out the back is Guild the Lily. Around the far turn at the three furlong point. And up front, here's a four wide sweep from Lady Madonna. Hockey is at the rail. In between horses, that's De Regresso looking for room behind the speed. That's Madame Mischief. She needs a way through here as they straighten for the drive a quarter of a mile out. Three quarters, 111 and one. They're off the turn. They're in the stretch drive. De Regresso has the lead while wandering to the inside. That does Madame Mischief no favors. It helps Watchtower, though. And here she comes on the outside. Funnel 16th of a mile. Watchtower and De Regresso. De Regresso. Regresso and Watchtower, Watchtower, De Regresso fighting photo! That's very close. De Regresso and Watchtower with Madame Mischief third and 140 and two.
runners away. Zeno did not break well, but not as bad as last time. From the rail, at Zero ridden for the early advantage from Builder Jack away in second. Up on the outside, Kryptonim is four wide. Three wide goes Balamos. Then at the rail is Makazar with Passage and Zeno on the stretch out. He was about two lengths slow, and he's last of all here as they chase the speed of Echezero. Echezero around the turn, on top by a length. Builder Jack is second. Kryptonim is on the outside. He's now third. From between horses, it's Balamos. Down at the rail goes Makazar. Then it's a length back to Passage, and Zeno's at the back. Opening quarter, pretty ordinary here as they straighten for the run down the backstretch. Echezero getting a pretty easy lead with Builder Jack alongside in second. So tactical advantages to both the top two in the betting here. Kryptonim is third. He's watching the top two while two lengths behind. Anthony Thomas has no choice but to angle Zeno to the far outside for clear racetrack. Moving out the rail, that's Passage with Makazar as they race to the half-mile point. They went the half in 50 and 3, and they move now to the far turn. Jesus Rios doling out the fractions on Etcha Zero. He heads into the turn on top of half a length. Builder Jack is second. Up to third goes Kryptonim. Back to fourth is Makazar. Balamos is ridden, but not responding. Zeno is just not doing much right now. He's three wide. He's asked to quicken, but he's not. In between horses, it's passage as they run to the top of the stretch. Builder Jack on the outside. Etcha Zero toward the rail. Their heads apart. Up to third goes Kryptonim. Zeno is on fourth and trying to gather some momentum as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters 15 and 3 off the turn and the stretch drive builder jack etch zero they continue to spar kryptonim continues in third they come past the 16th pole on the inside it's etch zero on the outside it's builder jack etch zero or builder jack they're putting on a show etch zero's very game etch zero would not be denied under strong jesus rios handling it's etch zero who beats builder jack with kryptonim third and makazar fourth 143 and 3 That wraps up Saturday racing action here at Goldstream Park. We'll be back with you tomorrow for Sunday racing. Come and join us here at Goldstream.